Welcome to this T watches a scary movie quick kill. Yes, that's right a quick kill We're coming to you with just a little bit of news that just came in here and it has just been announced that after uh, 14 years 15 I guess it's 15 years at this point that they are finally moving forward with a sequel to the 2007 Will Smith hit I Am Legend. Now, if you don't remember that one, this was an adaptation of the old 50s book, I Am Legend by Richard Matheson um, about, uh, about this scientist who's fighting off a horde of vampires as the last man on earth while trying to find a cure and also make a life for himself. It's been adapted numerous times, the most popular of which is the Omega Man starring Charlton Heston. Um, but in 2007, a new version was made of this starring Will Smith. It turned the vampires more into like mutant zombies, uh, which they've done another a, a number of other adaptations as well. But keep in mind, I Am Legend actually did really, really well for itself. Off a budget of $150 million, it made almost $600 million. So it was absolutely profitable, and they talked about a sequel coming right after the release. Now here's the thing, we're past 10-year rule. If you recall, in the theatrical version, Will Smith's character Robert Neville dies at the end of the film. In an attempt to save the only two other living characters he's come across, he ends up setting off a grenade that ends up killing him and most of the uh, the Darkstalkers, I think is what they're called. He kills most of the Darkstalkers that have made their way into his apartment. But in the alternate version uh we're careful to call that a director's cut because some directors don't really go by that but in the alternate version that was released on dvd and on blu-ray instead what happened was is that uh neville was actually able to find out a way to effectively cure them more to reverse their uh the effects of everything that was going on and when the dark stalkers find his apartment and catch up to him this time rather than ending in a fiery show off that ends in the death of him and the other mutants that were there instead he releases his captive back to the other doc, uh, doc stalkers and him and the other two survivors make their way to a nearby colony where there are other people now all we know about this so far is that will smith is in talks to come back francis lawrence who uh who did the original film is uh is coming back as well too and michael b jordan has apparently signed on to this as well so this actually has some wings folks this is legit this is something that's actually happening here and it's crazy to think 15 years later we're taking a look at it so we don't know what the story is going to be are they going to go off the theatrical version and the reason why we're seeing will smith's character is because we're getting flashbacks to things that weren't featured in the first film are we going off the alternate version will smith's character is still alive and michael maybe michael b jordan is playing like uh somebody at this colony who's headed back into new york or whatever to uh start curing people and everything we don't know but it's exciting to think i know that i am legend wasn't exactly well received i personally enjoyed the film yeah it's very very different from the omega man and it's very very different from the actual novel uh i am legend which in itself is incredibly different from the omega man um there's room for different adaptations of this and I, for one, definitely wanted to see more of the vampires because we just haven't seen that since The Last Man on Earth with Vincent Price. If you recall, that's the first adaptation uh, that was made that kind of stuck a little bit closer to it. So I'd love to see it become more vampires and maybe that's what happens here in the sequel is that the uh, the Doc Stalkers have finally morphed into vampires. We'll kind of see what that goes. But one way or the other, we are getting a sequel to I Am Legend, folks. That was the T Watches a Scary Movie Quick Kill. Make sure you're back here next week for The Cursed and Cursed. I'm T. We've been talking scary movies. Stay scared.